So now that we have our, you know, our scope mesh and everything corrected, we can go ahead and work on setting up the actual optic itself to be used, well, as a magnified optic. So first thing we're going to need is some reticles, really just any reticle. Um, if you want, the example project comes with kind of a series of them. So you can use one that represents the LPBO, which is basically just the ATACR's reticle, a uh, basic mill dot, and, you know, just pick whichever you want. In my case, I want to use this guy here. You can also quickly make your own. You don't need to worry about the colors. You can make it black. It doesn't really matter. Um, or you can get these off the internet. It's, again, it's up to you. But I'm going to use this guy here. So I'm just going to simply right click and migrate over to the tutorial projects content folder, like so. So now I can just go ahead and grab it under the tutorial folder. Let's just make a new folder called reticles. Actually, we already have that one. So let's make a child folder of reticles and just do textures. Keep it simple and then go to our texture here. So SKG example content, assets, reticles. We are going to drag and drop that into textures and move. Even though we don't have any redirectors, just fix up, save all. So we can simply delete that folder because again, we're not going to actually need it for the rest of this. But anyhow, go to blueprints and we are going to just duplicate the red dot to make it easier. So control D, rename red dot to magnified optic. First thing we want to do, change out the mesh. So let's swap that over. Now let's check our other things. So we need a scene capture for this case. So SKG, what's it called? SKG optic scene capture. Now this is really just a normal scene capture component. The only difference being it's kind of has some functionality built into it that is more optimal for, well, optics as kind of given the name. So we're going to go into the right view, zoom in, and we're going to go ahead and let's actually get the up and down right first. So I'm going to position this right at the center where the rings meet, which should be pretty close to the center, and then go just in front of the bell. So we just want it to be, you know, somewhere in the middle there, as close as we can get it. So compile save. Next up, let's go to our optic start with the initialization settings because we do have the static mesh as the optic mesh name which is correct and we have skg optic scene capture as the scene capture name so skg optic scene capture those are both good to go so we don't need to touch that and next up we have our reticle settings so this one by default has the ones that we made in the previous video uh, we don't want these materials so we can just clear it out we're going to have to make our own which is again pretty easy but the main thing we want to focus on is the reticle material index. So that has a value of one. If we select our magnified optic mesh, you can see we have you know, our reticle material as index two. So we want to change that to two. Hit save. Oh wait, sorry, we want that back. I did not duplicate that. Let me undo. And duplicate the reticle settings really quick and rename it from Amazon Special to Magnified Optic. We want to use this one instead. So, reticle index to 2, and remove the materials, and set it as the reticle settings. So once we have that, we can just simply make the reticle. So under reticles, our reticles folder anyways, let's go ahead and just duplicate any of these, we're going to do mi underscore magnified optic. Open that on up and change out the parent. So the core folder comes with a couple of different master materials. So we want to use the magnified scope master. So we change that. And now we change to the reticle that we had brought in. 
So this mill dot here, like so, and hit save. So we want to use this magnified optic material for our critical material. Quite simple. Just go ahead and save everything. And lastly, if we open up the firearm, we want to make the optic use the magnified optic. So we have the, we're missing just one thing, but we have the blueprint itself set up. We have the scene capture component. We made sure that the initialization settings were all correct for the names that of the components that well was needed. We made our material data asset, set the material reticle index, set the actual optic material we want to use. Now we just need the actual aim socket. So S underscore aim. And we want to get this positioned as close to the center as we can. So we're going to go to our uh, reticle material here. And if you search for socket, I provided a simple material Oops. that makes it a lot easier to position. So we just want to get it right in the center of that, like so, then just move it, you know, back a little bit. Doesn't really need to be moved back and forth. That's controlled separately, but that's besides the point. Then lastly, we want to rotate it to be Y forwards, just given the context of the way that this is set up because this is a X forward uh, optic mesh on a Y forward firearm because the pack comes with you know a variety of just random directions, so to speak. But anyhow, if we hit play and we aim, you can see we're actually aiming backwards. So I was incorrect on that. I did not realize we are going Y backwards. We need Y forwards. So we rotate by 180 degrees. Now we are Y forwards. So now when we aim, there we go. As you can see, we are looking through it and everything, but we are extremely close to that reticle. So what we want to do is go to our magnified optics, go to the procedural and the component, and we need to adjust the aiming settings. So I'm going to make a new one. So aiming settings underscore magnified optic and change the aiming distance to be 10. So just the default kind of as a test here. So let's set those as the new aiming settings data asset. Aim. And there we go. So we now have a much more, I guess you could say, appropriate view. It could be a little bit closer. So one thing I want to change is the use fixed aiming distance. So what this will do is regardless of where the firearm is, or sorry, where the optic is on the firearm, it's always going to be a consistent distance behind it. So as you can see, that brought it a little bit closer to us. Not by much, but a little bit. Then next up, we want to go ahead and let's see, set up the actual magnification. So that way we can zoom in, zoom out, and all that kind of stuff. So that'll be done in the next video. I'm trying to split these into parts because we're going on about nine minutes, but we do have everything we need set up. Uh, it's very simple to control magnification. You just make a data asset dedicated to magnification for here, and you tell it, you know, how much do you want to zoom in? How does it affect the reticle material? You know, that kind of stuff. Do you want first focal plane, second focal plane, so on and so forth. So with that said, I will see you in the next video.